Congratulations on the purchase of your cardio coach by Core Medical. When used during a properly conducted graded exercise test, Cardio Coach will measure a person's VO2 max as well as detect their aerobic and anaerobic threshold. The PLUS model adds the feature of a resting metabolic rate test, and the CO2 unit adds RMR as well as respiratory exchange ratio and CO2 detection. Through this series of YouTube videos, we would like to demonstrate the proper assembly and use of your equipment. Here are some important items to take note of on arrival of your cardio coach. Core strongly recommends the use of a core manufactured MetaBreather to ensure measurement accuracy of a resting metabolic rate test. Core cannot guarantee the ability of this product to accurately measure resting metabolic rates when a breathing device other than a MetaBreather is used. The user manual is a valuable resource to keep on hand. It contains information about the technology used to perform oxygen-based exercise testing, as well as detailed instructions on how to utilize the equipment and information regarding error codes. It also contains helpful resources, such as an informed consent form, participant readiness questionnaire, and a medical clearance form. If you have purchased the CardioCoach monitor software, or if you are using a CardioCoach CO2, your unit will include a CD case with a copy of the software. Inside this case is a registration code that is unique to you. There are occasions when a power surge, Microsoft critical update, or change of computers will require you to re-enter this registration code. You will want to save the case or the number in a safe place to keep it readily available in case of such an event. It is important to understand that routine service and maintenance will be necessary for your core product. Core measurement equipment relies on oxygen sensors that have a lifespan of 18 to 24 months regardless of usage. When those sensors expire, your unit must be sent back to our facility in Salt Lake City, Utah for replacement and recalibration. Service is ordered through our website at core.com. Oxygen sensors may expire without warning. It can be inconvenient and frustrating to have testing services interrupted when your device unexpectedly displays an error code. For that reason, we recommend you proactively schedule service every 18 months to avoid unplanned interruptions in usage. We also invite you to visit our website, core.com. This will be a valuable resource when you have questions about metabolic testing, such as, what is the effect of pregnancy on an RMR test? Or how does age affect VO2 max? If you visit the store, you will be able to quickly and easily purchase additional accessories, such as meta breathers, promotional materials, hoses, and masks. Before we start testing, let's walk through setting up your cardio coach unit with your laptop. Start by locating the Cardio Coach AC power supply, power cable, 9 pin serial cable, and the USB converter located in a white box. First, take the round end of the AC power supply and insert it into the power port, located on the back of the Cardio Coach. Connect the power cable to the AC power supply and plug it into the wall. A green light will illuminate under the on off button. Next, Plug the USB converter into an open USB port on your computer. Plug the converter into the 9-pin serial cable. Plug the other end of the serial cable into the 9-pin serial adapter on the back of the Cardio Coach. Note that your Cardio Coach purchase included an HP printer. Do not connect the printer directly to the Cardio Coach. Instead, connect the printer to your laptop using an open USB port and included USB cable. Follow the enclosed HP printer instructions for printer installation. Power on your Cardio Coach as well as your computer. If you purchased a laptop from Core and it prompts you for a login and password, simply hit enter to log on. All Cardio Coach monitor software and USB adapter drivers have been pre-installed on laptops purchased from Core. But if you plan to use your own laptop, you will need to download and install the software. 
To do this, simply visit core.com. Click on support, then click on product updates to get links to the most up-to-date versions of the software. After you have installed both the CardioCoach software suite and the USB serial port adapter drivers, reboot your computer and reinsert the USB to serial port adapter. Once all the software is downloaded onto your computer, you will see the CardioCoach software on your desktop, represented by a heart icon. Make sure your CardioCoach is connected and powered on before you double-click the icon to open the CardioCoach software. If you have just downloaded the software onto your computer, you will be prompted to enter the 16-digit registration code that is found on the DVD included with your purchase. Note that the cardio coach must be connected to the PC and powered on in order to register the software. Once the cardio coach monitor software is opened, you will notice a connection status in the bottom of the window. It should say connected with a five digit serial number. If the software says disconnected, simply click on the settings tab, then com port and then search. Click OK on the prompt and the software will search for the cardio coach. Within a few seconds, you should see the word connected at the bottom of the window. Once your cardio coach is connected, you are set up and ready to go. Now we are ready to start testing. For a graded exercise test, we'll start by fitting the client with a properly fitted heart rate strap and heart rate pickup. This is important because an accurate measurement of the heart rate will lead to better results. You'll note that cardio coach uses polar technology. To get started, locate the heart rate chest strap. Attach the polar heart rate transmitter to the elastic strap. You will hear the sensor snap into place. Wet the grooved electrode areas on the back of the strap with electrolubricating gel to help produce conductivity. Secure the strap around the client's chest, directly over the xiphoid process or right under the pectorals. Adjust the strap length so the fit is snug yet comfortable. The wet electrode areas should be firmly against the skin with the Polar logo in a central upright position. Now plug the heart rate pickup into the heart rate jack on the front of the cardio coach. Using the Velcro straps, attach the VO2 hose approximately 8 inches from the top. For the strongest heart rate signal, Make sure the Velcro straps are secure around the VO2 tube, that the wire is facing downward and the white label is facing the chest. To make sure the heart rate strap is working properly, look at the red numeric LED display and see if the client's heart rate appears. Do not begin the test until a valid heart rate is being displayed on the cardio coach. If the heart rate signal is not steady, adjust the placement of the strap and make sure the pickup is in close proximity to the client. If it continues to be unreliable, the battery of your Polar heart rate strap may have expired. New heart rate straps can be ordered from Core's website at core.com. To ensure reliable performance of your heart rate strap each time you test, be sure to properly care for it between tests. Detach the connector from the strap after every use. Clean the strap under running water with mild soap. Do not soak or bleach the strap. Do not stretch the strap or sharply bend the electrode areas. Rough handling may damage the electrodes. Hang to dry. Store the strap and connector separately to maximize the heart rate sensor battery lifetime. For more information about properly caring for your heart rate equipment, visit polar.com and click on support. Prior to performing exercise testing, it is extremely important that you talk to your client about their current fitness level. Take the time to sit down with your client and discuss at what speed and incline they are comfortable running or walking, as well as previous injuries that might affect their performance level. Knowing your client's fitness level will help you determine the proper protocol for their test. Alright, your cardio coach is running. Your client is already fitted with the heart rate strap. Let's begin the actual test. As you start the software, make sure you power on your cardio coach before double clicking the heart icon. You'll know if your cardio coach is connected to the software by looking at the bottom of the window. 
Also, take note that if you start a test from the Cardio Coach unit and not from your computer, you will not be able to view the results until after the test is completed. Be sure to start your test from the monitor software so you can track the results in real time. You can start a new test on the software by clicking the bike icon in the top left corner of the window. Enter in the requested information including name, age, height, weight and gender of the test subject. Note that there are toggles next to some of the values in order to change their units. Select the test type and enter a trainer name in the space provided if necessary. When you are finished entering all necessary information, click the OK button. If the cardio coach is correctly connected and has been turned on, it will begin its calibration cycle. Make sure that nothing is blocking the air intake valve and that the tube is not connected. Calibration usually lasts one to two minutes. During calibration, you can fit the client with the VO2 mask so they can be ready to start the graded exercise test as soon as the calibration cycle is complete. In order to get accurate results, it is important to make sure your client's VO2 mask is properly fitted before you test. You can use the machine's calibration time to fit and secure your client's face mask. To properly fit a VO2 mask, begin by choosing the proper size. You want a mask that covers the mouth and nose without extending too far. Once you have determined the correct size of mask, attach the Y valve. Have your client hold the mask to their face and blow out as you cover the expiratory port of the valve. If air escapes from around the edges of the mask, it is probably too large and you need to change the size. Any air leakage will affect the accuracy of the test results. Next, attach the headgear. With the neoprene head strap, you'll want to make sure the gray side faces out. The large opening should fit over the crown of the head, with the smaller opening at the base. Clip the straps to the mask. Cinch the Velcro until snug but comfortable. Adjust the Velcro straps at the top, sides, and back of the head strap. Check again for air leaks by blocking the expiratory port and having the client blow. If air is escaping, consider either changing the mask or readjusting the Velcro straps for a better fit. Connect the VO2 hose to the valve. Cover the hose and have the client blow as you listen for any air escaping. If the hose has developed any holes over time, you will need to replace it to ensure accurate results. As it ages, you may want to keep an extra hose on hand. Once the machine has calibrated and your client's mask is fitted, connect the VO2 hose to the air intake valve. Have your client relax and breathe normally through the mask and hose. Once the cardio coach is filled with expired air and receiving a steady heart rate signal, it will begin to count down from 1 minute and 30 seconds. Allow the countdown to complete. Do not start exercising until the countdown is finished. When the countdown is complete, you will be prompted to start testing. Click Start in the software and on the treadmill or bike simultaneously. Start your client at a lower speed or resistance, increasing their workload gradually throughout the test to slowly see their heart rate and VO2 increasing. If the client begins to feel pain at any time or needs to stop the test for any reason, simply click the red stop sign in the top left corner and begin the heart rate recovery process. Be sure to communicate regularly with your client to make sure they're doing okay. This test will usually last about 7 to 15 minutes, depending on how conditioned your client is. During the course of the test, you will want to follow a protocol that increases workload in regular intervals. Increasing the workload on a treadmill might mean changing the incline or speed, whereas increasing the workload on a bike might mean increasing the resistance. For example, you could run a protocol that increases the speed or incline of a treadmill in one-minute intervals during the course of a 10-minute test. 
With this protocol, the client would reach their anaerobic threshold around minute 7 or 8. If you run protocols through the software, pop-ups will appear regularly with instructions and notes for the person running the test. This will suggest to them how and when to make these changes. If you are connected to a load ergometer, Velotron bike, Trackmaster treadmill, or any other device that is compatible with the cardio coach, it will automatically make the necessary changes during the test. Once the client reaches their anaerobic threshold, AT detected will appear on the LCD screen. To complete a submax test, continue the protocol at least one to two minutes until the client is ready to end the test. At that point, you will hit stop on the bike or treadmill and click the red stop sign in the top left corner of the screen. This will end the test and begin the recovery process, which lasts about two minutes. You will receive a prompt asking if you would like to begin the recovery from now or peak. By selecting peak, you can start a two minute countdown from the moment the client reached their peak measurement. Now that the test is complete, you can print the results and review them with your client. If you own the Cardio Coach Plus, you will have the ability to perform a resting metabolic rate test on your machine. For those examining respiratory exchange ratio with the Cardio Coach CO2, you will get more reliable RER data by manually adjusting the minimum test length to 20 to 24 minutes. To do this, locate the menu button on the front of your Cardio Coach unit. Use the arrow and selection keys to reset the RMR testing settings on your machine. To begin a test, click on the bike icon on the upper left hand corner and enter all the requested information, including your client's age, height, weight, and gender. Select RMR as your test type, click OK, and the machine will begin to calibrate. During the calibration process, you will want to be sure that nothing is blocking the air intake valve, including the black funnel. When the calibration is finished, place the black funnel on the air intake valve. With the funnel in place, you will be able to connect your MetaBreather tube to the cardio coach. Expand your MetaBreather and place the mouthpiece in the client's mouth. Place the nose clip on their nose. Make sure they keep a seal with their lips around the mouthpiece so all the expired air is collected throughout the entire test. Have your client take a few deep breaths. Once the cardio coach detects a breath, a time clock will appear on the LCD screen counting down from a minute 30. When the countdown is complete, the machine will beep and you'll be ready to start the test. Click Start. Have your client breathe in a relaxed manner. Test results will be most accurate if the client comes prepared by not exercising the day of the testing, fasting four hours prior to testing, and avoiding stimulants. When the test is complete, the unit will beep. Disconnect the MetaBreather tubing and throw it away. You can print the results from the software by clicking the print icon. After the results have printed, you will be ready to interpret the results for your clients.